this afternoon. But let's focus on real estate space. Uh, NASCOM may be cautiously optimistic on the IT sector growth in the coming years, but that's not stopping DLF from building more IT parks. In an exclusive chat with CNBC TV18, the company's managing director of the rental business, Sriram Khattar, said that the company's leasing pipeline looks healthy, with over a third of these deals involving office spaces in excess of 100,000 square feet. Here's a slice of that conversation with Jude Sanath. Numeric figures of 15.4 and 8.4, but if you normalize over the last five years and you see the normalized growth over the next five, seven years, the growth is going to be very good. Mm -hmm. See, one thing COVID has done is prove to the world that India has a very strong digital backbone to provide the best of IT services in the most trying of times. Right. That clubbed with the fact that India is able to offer English speaking, technology savvy youngsters mm -hmm. at a fraction of a cost and real estate of global standards coming at a fraction of a cost mm -hmm. make India a very compelling destination for growth of international companies. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that growth will continue to happen. Mm -hmm. A few percentage points more or less is a matter from year to year. Mm -hmm. But the base level of growth will continue to happen. So Mr. Qatar, given that you were so optimistic and you, the projections you feel will be good in the future, even if not on an overall level, but from a micro market to micro market level, what does this do to your deal pipeline and your leasing pipeline in the months and the years that lies ahead? So I think uh, um, uh, our teams work hard, but I think it's God's grace. Our deal pipelines are always strong. Okay. Uh, without being immodest, I want to share that we have leased all our commercial developments, more or less leased them completely before we get the occupancy certificates. Okay. And we hope to continue with this trend, mm -hmm. God willing. And any uh, you know noteworthy deals in the pipeline and leasing in the pipeline? Uh, that is uh, you know client confidentiality, so I would not be able to uh, uh, speak to you on that. But at any time or point of time on a pan India basis, we've got. 20 to 30, 35 deals going on at all, all points of time. Mm -hmm. uh, three, four, five of them are the big ones and the rest are all in the range of 15, 20,000 to 100,000 square. But in terms of growth, sir, in the deal space, uh, the next FY versus this FY, what do you estimate that to be? Uh, I see that, that growth to be, to be there, uh, which was there uh, uh, earlier. Uh, if I have to sort of split it, Last year, say between a July to October, uh, the deal pipeline had really gone up. And then November, December, when this whole talk about recession in the U.S. happened, it had sort of quietened down. So it's definitely aggravated concerns coming in for the financials, losses rather. So 861 odd points currently gone for the bank nifty, down over two odd percent. Maybe the European market should come up for you and let's see how the European markets are performing because that will be a good indicator of, in terms of the kind of risk assessment that we are seeing globally as well. So the European DAX, FTSE and CAC, um, at least as of now, is showing that they're trading with cuts of around half a percent to over one odd percent. As you can see, the German markets are down around 1.4 percent, the French markets down 1.5 percent, and the FTSE, which is down around 1 percent at this point in time. So there seems to be some amount of global concerns which are weighing down on our markets, especially the financials. But that's all the time that we have on Midcap Radar. Closing Bell is going to take uh, what could be quite a volatile last hour of trade ahead. Stay tuned.